Today's subject, hope restoration. I'm Pastor Jermaine. And I'm Pastor Alicia. And you are watching Lift, life inspiration for today. You know, hope is a critical component in the life of a victorious believer. Mm -hmm. Hope is our connection with God. It's the assurance that we have that God can deliver us from whatever situation we're facing in our lives. Hope equals possibility. And as long as we believe that God can deliver us, Mm -hmm. doesn't matter what the score is, we're still in the game. Praise Mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of our hope is to keep us in that place of possibility. That's good. In Mark chapter 9, we find a father who is just about giving up hope. His son has been tormented with a dumb, uh, mute spirit Mm -hmm. since he was a child Mm -hmm. that's hindered his speech. And I can't even imagine the toll that that's taken on his family, Mm -hmm. on him. Mm -hmm. Jesus' disciples, they've already attempted to cast out the spirit and they couldn't. And the father has reached a point where he's trying to decide if he's going to get his hopes up again regarding his son's healing. In part B of verse 22, he approaches Jesus and says, but if thou canst do canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Mm-hmm. The key word there, Pastor Jermaine, is if. Mm-hmm. The if yeah. really reveals the sign of lost hope for this father. Mm-hmm. But you got to love Jesus' response because he puts that ball back in his court. Right. And he says in verse 23, if thou canst believe. Yeah. All things are possible to him that believe it. Yeah. Jesus brings possibility back on the scene. Yeah. But he attaches that possibility to this man's ability to believe that it's possible for them. Yes. And and now the father has to shift right. from a place of very little hope mm-hmm. to a place of fully charged faith. That's right. If his son is going to see his situation change. Well, what happens when you find yourself running a little low on hope or worse yet, you know, (laughs) worse yet, you know, having no hope at all? Well, we're going to help you out today and see and show you how to restore your hope in those difficult times. Mm -hmm. Three things that you can pull from to help restore your hope in your life. Number one are the praise reports of others. Mm -hmm. There's some in the Bible. There's some in the folks at your church, victorious Christians, wherever they are. Those people that you know are going to have a positive confession, regardless of what the situation Mm -hmm. is. They can all provide a source of hope to pull from. And you just might have to ask them sometime, hey, tell me something good. Especially if you've been the person that's avoided them in the past. Amen. Praise (laughs) God. (laughs) Need a little something good today. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You know, a good example, the woman at the well in Mm -hmm. in John chapter 4. You know, she ran back into her village and told everyone in the city about what Jesus had done for her. Her testimony opened up the door of possibility for everybody in that town. Verse 40 says, and many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the saying of the woman, which testified, he told me all that ever I did. Wow. Praise God. Her <laughs> praise report gave them reason to believe again. Yes. And you know, another source with hope restoration that can pull you from a place of, of depression to a place of hope being restored mm-hmm. is the previous victories that God has given you in your life. Yes. Think about David, how he drew on the previous victories that God had given him. Mm-hmm. Victory over the lion. Yes. Victory over the bear. And as he thought back on that, he remembered those victories. The empowerment that he needed showed up. My God. And what no other soldier could do with a body full of wonderful armor and the finest weapons, Mm. David did with one stone and a slingshot. (laughs) Because he thought back on the previous victories that God had given him. Caused him to have hope in the midst of a seemingly hopeless situation. Yes, yes, yes. There are some giants in your life that God wants to help you slay. That's right. And remembering the giants that he helped you with yesterday will give you the strength and the insight that you need to conquer the giants that you face today. Praise God. Praise God. Number three, the the third thing that will help you restore hope in your life is prophecy. Prophecy is simply a glimpse of your future shown to you by God himself, either through him, through his word, through signs, visions, dreams, through other people that he's called to speak into your life. That's right. Second Chronicles 20, 20 B says, believe in the Lord, your God. So shall you be established. Believe his prophets. So shall you prosper. Those prophetic words, they birth hope 
on the inside of you. And they help you to see past your current situation to the good things that God has in store for you. Praise God. You know, and as Jesus told the Father in our story earlier that Mm -hmm. we started with, Mm -hmm. it's not a question of my ability to perform this miracle. (laughs) Right. Because I can definitely do that. Yeah, yeah. The question is, can you believe? Yes. Can you believe? The father burst into tears. Yes. He broke through the shell that he had of hopelessness. Mm -hmm. And he allowed himself to believe again. My God. Praise God. And because he did, Pastor Alicia, his son was finally healed. Yes. You know, I truly sense that God has some great things in store for you, in store for your family, the folks around you. Things that he's already begun to show you, Mm -hmm. and you've allowed yourself to slip back in that place of of low possibility. Mm -hmm. This week, we want you to push past the issue of possibility and focus on believing. It's possible because God says it's possible and we serve a God that can do all things. But it's the only way that it's possible that what God can do becomes possible for you is if you believe. Restore your hope and then believe. Praise God. I'm Pastor Jermaine. And I'm Pastor Alicia. Thanks again for tuning in to this week's Lift. We'll be back next week with another inspiring word sure to give you the lift that you need to enjoy your week. God bless you. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you next week.